So, how do you think art can empower youth? Uh, one, I think uh, if the youths get more involved, I mean, using an art uh, kind of uh, activity, like me, I talk as a, as a visual artist. Because I see these more interactive projects I've been doing, where the youths get into a social place where they gather, or if you say it's a cultural center, I find them being uh, more busy, maybe when they're doing this kind of activity, then I find it so more involving, discovering their talents, because through the arts and all that, they discover that they can still do much. Yeah, so that's how. Okay, do you think there are enough programs um, that, um, enough programs in Africa that uh, empower and encourage youth to take art programs? Well, I must say, especially when I'm about, uh, the country I come from and uh, Africa at large, I see art appreciation not, you know, it's disappointing, if I could mention. And uh, I see it uh, as a, maybe if uh, I happen to say it this way, that art has not been appreciated for us, even the artists, because we paint work and the people who really take the work, I mean, who buy the works, I mean, like as an individual, I've been painting for embassies. I paint a piece of art, they are, of course, the ones who can afford. But the local person, the local people, they don't collect the works. So in, in essence, I discover that we have a lot to really communicate, we have a lot to, I mean, to do as advocates, to reach out. That's why I become, I become a voice for the artist, a voice to the voiceless. Yeah. What style of uh, art or painting do you do, and how can you uh, describe the themes that you use in your paintings? One uh, specific of uh, advocacy is themes. I've been doing souvenir paintings, which are done based on events. I've been coming while it's a big event, and then I paint live when the session is going on. Through this, people have been really getting the message clear. How? Because it's dotted with advocacy messages. Where two, three, four people maybe put a signatures as, a, I mean, support in, in the recognition of what creation that is on that ground. So that is one way I've been more involved with the souvenir paintings. Then for portraits, I've been painting portraits for particular people where I involve them and uh, uh, maybe we celebrate uh, heroes who people they call their role models and when they paint them some of them are inspired uh, for these people have painted for their heroic acts so I find it so interesting that they get uh, the message and at the end of the day we, we, we I mean me I'm achieving the objective as an activist so part of it is uh, the other bit of it is more of uh, the, the, the social places I've been to we back home in Kampala, there is a cultural center, which is a national theater. I initiated the paint night. I let me use it as an example. That I used to engage even the music, uh, the poets, the art, where I paint, and uh, then the music guys are doing the music, and the poets are citing. So it gathers me, uh, these people. And this project, uh, we, we named it the Bonfire Paint Night. So everyone was more involved. So that's how you see that we're trying out, but it's it still low at, at, at some point. It's not developed. Yeah. So what made you want to become an artist? How old were you when you first discovered that this was your passion in life? Yeah, well, I think I discovered when I was uh, still young. I used to look at my elder sister who was doing art at university by then. And I kept saying, can you give me the paint, the, the pencils? Can you give me the paint brushes? And she really loved to bring every time she comes from home. I mean, she comes home to visit. She brings me a, a pencil, an HB pencil, which was very expensive by then. Uh, she gives me some brushes. So it inspired me to an extent that I kept saying, I want to be a good artist. Though my father didn't like me being an artist, he wanted me to be a doctor, he wanted me to be an engineer to, I mean, solve the issues that were happening in society. So I greatly uh, had those moments, but I think Staying with my mama at my child age it had an impact on my life. Because I used to see how crafty she is in home, decorating home. And I would want to imitate what she does. And I mean, I had this conviction that, I mean, all maybe if I was being an artist, there is that part of mom, my mother in, in there. Because uh, I used to borrow much what she was doing. And 
I mean, you enjoy being part of home and what she's doing. She used to use beads to decolate and through maybe more I get inspiration from colors I see around. And that's why even later on in high school I discovered I can paint. And even one a leading guy, uh, like being a leading student in painting class. So there I uh, joined into university. I usually reflect on those moments when I was home and sharing it with my mother at home. Really, I, I can't forget that one. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. sweet. Yeah. When, when did you um, realize that you want to use your art for social activism? I think, uh, well, it's well back after university. Uh, I think after, after university, I think after one incident happened, Back in my country, as given, I I I threw this activism. You no, know, I'm talking about uh, the campaigns I've been involved in, raising for charities, money for charities, and all that. I discovered that very many people walk to me and are asking me questions like, "How? What makes you a good artist? How can we sell a piece of art? Because we are into this and we don't sell to sell." I said, "How?" And the question was that, "How are you going to make it in art?" Because. Uh, before I joined university, I was not practicing as much as I'm doing right now. But when I joined university, I first sold the record painting when I was still a student, which was like 64 million uh, towards the cause, which was directed to manage to, uh, for the, the cancer patients uh, to, to uh, these uh, schools. I mean, we were building schools for the African Children's Square. There's, uh, that the several heart patients and for the Red Cross, I used to, you know, like have those particular events. So I discovered the activism bit of it when I made a statement and won an award because I won an award of Young Achievers, uh, 2010. And then uh, what happens is that after that session, after that period, I began activism campaigns, which were very clear. But initially, I was doing advocacy art, and now is the time I just say I can still advocate for many things but now be an artist and be a voice to those people who have not got an opportunity to use and share their art. So period of I think last uh, some few years yeah 